Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to create a homepage pop-up for WordPress website. For creating a pop-up, we are going to use the pop-up box plugin as this plugin allows us to create engaging and responsive pop-ups. First of all, we need to install and activate the plugin. This is what our dashboard will look like. Let's start creating an engaging homepage pop-up together. Click on the Add New button. This is what we will see. The plugin offers us different types of pop-ups. The first one is the shortcut. You can copy and paste the shortcut created by any other plugins. The second one is custom content. You can write your own content with the help of the HTML. Then here we have the subscription type, which is mainly for email subscriptions. Yes or no pop-up type. Uh, I think the name already gives us an understanding of what we can create with it. Mainly these kind of pop-ups are created for the cookies. The fifth one is video pop-up, where we have the ability to put videos in pop-ups. iframe allows us to put iframe links in the pop-up. Another pop-up type is contact form. Here we can create contact forms. Send file after subscription. It gives a special space where the users can insert files. Coupon, this type is for adding a promo code. And finally, um, countdown and cookies itself. I've talked about these types because all of them can be used in homepage pop-ups, but I'm going to choose the contact form. So I will talk mainly about the features that are important for creating a homepage pop-up. So this is what our dashboard will look like. Here we have four tabs. The general tab is responsible for the general settings. To be sure that our pop-up will be shown at our desirable page, we must activate the enable pop-up option. Then we can add the pop-up title. For example, here it can be a discount sales pop-up. We can choose the place where we want our pop-up to be shown. It can be shown on all pages, except or selected. If we choose the except or selected, we must write where we want the pop-up to be shown. Write down the email of the admin. As far as all the contacts will be sent to the admin and in case you will have to write your email. As we are creating a homepage pop-up, this option is really crucial for us. Also, we can add a pop-up description to make it more understandable for the users what the pop-up is about. As we have seen in the demo, the pop-ups can be shown anywhere on our homepage. To choose exactly uh, where we want our pop-up to pop up, we must choose the pop-up position here. Now let's move to the settings tab. The section is responsible for the main features that can be useful for us. As you remember, we have uh, added a title and a description for our homepage pop-up and if you want them to be visible for the users, we must activate this option. Every pop-up needs to be closed if we don't want to annoy our website visitors. But how exactly you want them to be closed? The pop-up box plugin offers us different variants. For example, you can choose whether you want your pop-up to be closed by pressing exit, closed by clicking outside the box, or um, closed by class name, which means that, copy, that you have to copy the given class name and assign it to any tag in the content, for example, description, custom content, etc. Uh, and, or it will close the pop-up while clicking on that specific tag. Here we have hiding the close button. Okay, I know this is one of the annoying ways of closing the pop-up, but in case we want to catch the user's attention, this option is the best decision for us. Or we can choose to show close button by hovering the pop-up. But if all these types aren't convenient, we can use a timer as a way of closing the pop-up. Even if you have decided that you want to use one of these ways, you will be able to choose the position of the close button, the text, and even add image for it. As our main goal is to create a homepage pop-up that will be visible for our website visitors, we must clearly understand how and when we want our pop-up to be shown. We will use open delay. Using this option, the pop-up will open after the given milliseconds, 
but it's your decision to choose which option you want from this list. I think we can move to the style section now and make our pop-up be more eye-catching. We can choose the appropriate theme for us. What is really important is that we can add an already created image as a background, choose text color, and so on. Now we are moving to the limitation user section. Homepage pop-ups must be shown to everyone. That's why we must uh, activate the enable for guest option. One of my favorite options is that we can limit the country where our pop-up will be shown. For example, if our homepage pop-up is for a specific country, we can activate this option and choose the particular country. So that's all for today. I hope the pop-up box plugin will help you to create eye-catching and engaging pop-ups. See you soon!